Hello and welcome. I suppose you're wondering, what are we doing here? Very simple. Dante got leaked. Uh, and I was going to give quick thoughts on it. Apparently what had happened is someone ordered a Dante, and they were sent, uh, this one instead. And as you can see, he is noticeably bigger. And on a tactical rock. The best kind of rock. So, thoughts, thoughts, quick thoughts. Uh, I like his new axe. I think it looks... It has the two power cords, the skulls right there. It's it's fine. It looks good. His armor is just a updated version of his old armor. Uh, at least to me, that's what it looks like. It's just upscaled. His pose, not the greatest pose, but it, we've seen much worse. We've seen slightly better. The peak being, of course, the Emperor's Champion. Uh, the good one. Not that, not that Primaris trash. The rest of them, though, his gun, his, yeah, his armor, yeah, it all looks fine, dandy. His jump pack, ah, uh, fuck. It's not good looking. It's not as bad. It is not as goofy as I thought. I, I thought they were going to slap one of these on him. It's... Actually, it is kind of like that, isn't it? I don't know. It's not as clean looking. I think it would look better with a more sanguinary guard style jump pack with a single thruster or just a better, more updated version of this one, but I suppose that's what it's attempting to be. His gun looks good, but as you might have noticed, I have been talking about everything except his fucking helmet. His helmet is bad. That is... That is not good. It looks like the crown, or the iron halo, is attached to his helmet, like some of the new Space Marine stuff is. Um, it looks fine for some, does not look good for Dante. Also, his mask, I'm pretty sure, is supposed to be an artifice, uh, artifact from the Great Crusade. So, why the fuck... Why the fuck are we just... Ripping the faceplate of it off and slapping it on a Mark X helmet. Um, yeah, no, it looks bad. They could have and should have just used this exact helmet. You could have just had the cables from the uh, chin just either going back behind them or clean them up to where they just are no longer there. Personally, I would have them going down and around to the back of his head and maybe collect, uh, connecting into the back of his collar. Something like that. Um, yeah. So this is just a random surprise. Overall, I've seen them do worse. Shrike comes to mind. They've done better, like with Helbricht or the new uh, Azrael. So, more just a surprise than anything. He has a big rock. He has a, he has a, he has a chonker. Of course, the old Dante's kind of small, so... Could be worse... Could be better. Overall, I kind of like it. I would just change the head and the jump pack. I'd try if I would say probably. I don't remember if this comes in. The head comes as a separate piece. He's fine cast, so it's not exactly the hardest thing to chop off, but it would still be a pain in the ass. Or find a proxy or a sanguinary guard helmet and try and sculpt it to be closer to this than that. I, mean, I think that'd be fine on a generic Blood Angels character, but not Dante. Tell me your new thoughts on this Dante. I would like to know if I'm crazy or not. Video end, I guess.